Hello guys, I'm really excited to share with you the scholarship opportunities I found at University of Liverpool in the UK. And I'm excited because I actually thought there were not a lot of scholarships in the UK, but I've been making a lot of research about scholarships in the UK because some of you said you wanted more scholarships in the UK and I've found a number of them. So in this coming week, I'm going to share with you like four or five scholarships. And the good thing is that you could actually apply for these opportunities if you have your BSc. So let me know in the comment section which countries you want me to make videos. If it's Canada, the UK, so one more UK, Italy, or Russia. Let me know in the comment section because you know I'm off, I'm here for you. And And before I start, I'd like to say thank you to all of you. Like, my channel is really growing fast. And I know it's because of your help. It's because you comment. It's because you share. So if you haven't yet subscribed, this will be a great time to subscribe and join the family. And there are so many scholarships. And I've put them in a playlist based on country. So based on the country that you're interested in, you could just come. So if it's Italy, if it's um, US... And yes, before I continue, so the DAD scholarship, this is like a fully funded scholarship. Uh, it covers your tuition, your travel, accommodation. You can't even go with your family. You don't have to write the IELTS. And they've actually increased their monthly stipend to around 900 euros. So this scholarship is still open. So with this playlist, it's like from the start to the end, you'll be able to submit your application. So check to see if you have something for you. So without wasting my time, let's look at the University of Liverpool. I will leave the link in the description box. And when I say the description box, so let's say you go to a video um okay home okay i'm gonna just choose it so this is some scholarships also in the uk this is a description box so i'm gonna leave it here so you'll be able to find it here so yeah let's start so in rescue of liverpool the first thing you do is you can choose your research area, but for this video, I'm going to choose all research areas. And because these are funded PhD or studentship, you don't have to submit a new topic. You are going to work on these topics they've already provided for you. So you don't have to stress yourself finding a topic that's interesting. They already have topics here for you. And you are going to choose all nationalities, but if you want, you could choose your country. But for this video, I'm going to choose all nationalities because we have a wider option. Then you choose show only funded PhDs. I know you are seeing PhDs, but if you have a bachelor's, you can apply for that. And the good thing is that it's very short. So like within 3.5 years, you're, because masters in some countries are like two years. So with, with an extra two years, you're able to get, or a year and a half, you're able to get a PhD so stay with me okay so once you are done with this first part the next thing is to look for topics that are of interest to you so subject area engineering and planning physical sciences but I know all these things one of the things I always advise people is that there's something called multidisciplinary research and what that means is maybe I have my bachelor's in math mathematics but I'm able to work in engineering because of the skill set I have. In this journey, you should always be willing to go the extra mile if you because everybody wants a scholarship. So to be selected, you have to go the extra mile. Sometimes you have to sit down and read and read, but you will have good news if you continue. So that's why it's better to like look at all the topics and see which one works for you. So this is 30th June. We are still in May. So we have roughly like a month to prepare. The ones that we are saying open to UK applicants, if you are not in the UK, it's these ones that won't be of interest to you. So you could choose these ones. So 31st July, the deadlines are really vary. So you have to sit down and look for the one that suits you. It's work, but it will be worth it when you find something that suits you. As I said, we are going the extra mile, okay? So I have chosen some few topics. So when, whichever one you like, you just have to click on it. So this one is robot learning for laboratory environments and it's in chemistry, so uh, faculty of science and engineering. 
So research areas, chemical sciences. They tell you what the project is about. And they tell you so funding students with the information. International students are eligible to apply, but will need to have their own funding in place to cover the increased international fees. So what happens is UK they have um, they have the funding like they have fees for no UK but most countries they have fees for nationals of the country and they have an extra fees for international students. Something like this, if you don't already have your money, this is something that will be of interest to you. Why? Because you will not have the money to fund it. So I would I would suggest don't put in the effort to apply because then you have to look for money. Our goal is to get fully funded scholarships. Uh, that is our goal. So I brought this in for you to, to see. So now let's look at another one. So we go back down to the funding information. Let me see. This is for oh, so open to all students. And this is a good thing about this project. So they said this, the CDT particularly encourages applications from women disabled and black Asian and minority ethnic groups who are currently underrepresented in the sector. We also consider part-time PhD students. We also encourage talented individuals from various backgrounds with either an undergraduate or MSc in a numerous subjects and people with ambition and interest in making it. So this is really good. So this is the funding information. It's for four years and will provide UK tuition fees and maintenance. So this is also similar to the one before, where you would, they don't they didn't say it explicitly, but they said they'll provide UK tuition fees. So with this, because they didn't um, say it explicitly, you may want to still go ahead and maybe during the interview stage, if there is the need, or you can contact the supervisors with like your documentation and ask if it will cover international fees. But you should make time and read it. Maybe they did have something there about that. So this is forging. So this is also very close and it's electrical and electronic. So I'm going to go to another one. Okay, so let's look at this. So. They describe the project. So your job, really, what do they say to apply? Your job is to read this part to understand, to understand what they request of you. And you can prepare maybe like a short um, research proposal. I'm going to check. I think I've already opened it, but I want to see if this university will request for a research proposal. And there's this part that's always important. Sometimes we want to wait till the deadline, which is really bad. Because from here, they say the position will remain open until the student candidate has been found. So the people who apply first, they always get it. But most of us, we want to wait to the deadline, be proactive. So applicants are welcome from students with a 2.1 or higher master's degree or equivalent in chemistry, physics, engineering. So 2.1 is a first class. So if you have a bachelor's or a master's, you could apply for this PhD. So this is the person you want to contact if you have any questions. Provides footage and a stipend of. But it also come. I, I just want to read this to see if they talked about if it's just for, um, just a UK tuition. Okay, yeah. So this is for everybody. So that's what I was thinking too. This for international due to a change in UK policy, this is now available for home EU or international students to apply. However, please be aware that there is a limit on the number of international students we can appoint to this studentship per year. Don't let this throw you off. This should actually motivate you to want to do better. So when you look at these things, what you look for is if it's open to international students, the deadline, if it's funded, and the project. Try and understand it. And the best way to do it is try, before you even write the proposal, Okay, I don't know what's happening today. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna just try. Okay, try and rewrite the description in your own words. 
this will really help you to understand exactly what the project is about and what they are looking for so this is how to apply for PhD program so once you are there you just apply online so this is um, The investor provides access to money fully for which bunch of and require. So this is for self-funded or externally funded research degree. Some of them, okay, to apply online. So it's fast and you need to submit the file. So these are some of the documents you need: your transcript, your your school or college transcripts, your university transcripts, your certificates. So English language certificates, your personal statement two reference letters and a research proposal. Most of these things, and when it comes to a research proposal, I've already made a video on how to write a research proposal. You could, it's just for ideas, but most of these universities also have a template on what they will expect from you. What you should go is, you go back to Google, you type University of Liverpool, research proposal. This will help you to know exactly what they they want from you. So let's open this link and see how to write a PhD research proposal. It was actually on their website. So this is what they wanted to include. It should it's not anything really strange. So the title, this is what you already have. This is so if we are looking at this project, this is the title. You already have the title done for you an abstract that's just like a summary of everything that's gonna be done and when you rewrite everything in your words you'll be able to get the abstract so context a brief overview so research questions methods significance a bibliography this is the first thing you have to do is once you are able to rewrite everything in your own words you will combine it with this video to help you and you should be able to write your research proposal maybe between so they gave you the words it shouldn't be long 2000 to 3000 words and you just go ahead ready to apply apply online so these are a number of projects even this is 17th march 2024 so some of the deadlines are still far ahead but you should really start preparing very quickly so applica applications are working from students with a preferably first or 2.1 class bsc or equivalent in mathematics, computer science, or physics. So you see, this is computer science. The research area is chemical sciences. So maybe when you see it over there, you are like, okay, research area is chemical sciences. This is really not my field, so I shouldn't bother. But you see, once you read it, you realize that, okay, this is really my field. So this is also good. They are going to give you approximately 17 point 17 k almost 18 18k pounds which i think is really a good they also allow you to teach so they give you expenses of thousand per year so this i think this is this is really cool and 3.5 years you should be done so i opened a number of them okay this is what i already talked about like if you don't have the cash just just move on so this is it for university of liverpool let me know um your research area and i'll look for scholarships in those areas i also like to know the kind of kind which country you are coming from and just update me with how your process is going so without wasting much time to hear from me again bye